All right, Guido, we are back here today within the disassembly dimension, ready to take apart this lamp once more. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, uh, you're right, Guido. Yeah. Um, okay, forget about that. So instead of taking apart this lamp with, uh, with a gun or any sort of firearm, instead we have to use our bare hands and I guess all these tools because that is the only way we are going to be able to unlock more items such as this bomb right here. So Guido, think of it this way. We are saving ourselves from doing damage right now so that we can do damage in the future. Yeah, man, it really is the best way to do it. Look, let's go ahead and start unscrewing all this stuff. So we have taken apart this lamp before, but uh, as I said, it went a little bit, uh, it got a little bit out of hand. So with that in mind, we are going to try take this thing apart as nicely as we can without too much of a, of a hassle here. Can I take this out? Does this not? Hmm, okay. Oh wait, there are little screws here. Let's take each one of these out if we can. There is like a little screw in here. I wonder if we could use something to uh, get that out of there. I've tried everything that I can, but it doesn't seem to be coming out. Oh, we have to take this little bolt off first. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, will this just, yep, that'll just slide out. And that is that part done. Now we've just got to take apart the rest of the frame. So uh, Guida, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm not too bad, man. You know, I'm uh, I'm trying to get over the whole, you know, phase I went through of using weapons and stuff like that. I'm really trying to uh, recover here and get back on get back on track. I really think it's about time I realize that not everything can be solved by using a gun. I mean, the other day I left my washing out in the garden to dry and then it started raining, so I tried to shoot the clouds. I know, dude. I'm I'm an idiot. Nope. All we need is good old-fashioned perseverance and uh, using our brain power to make sure this thing is going to come tumbling apart. There we go. Now we should have the these frames right here. We do have one more ball. Let me just get rid of that if we can, just like that. Get rid of these, and uh, we must be close here to being being finished up. Oh. There we go. Nice. Next up, we have the speaker. Now, we have disassembled this one before, as I said, but we did use, um, we did use a, a gun again, another occasion where I used a weapon. But you know what, Guido? I am determined. I am determined not to use any weapons here until we get our brand new bomb. So let's go ahead and, uh, disassemble this. It looks like it's all coming apart quite similarly. If I just take off this, there we go, that white part, then this speaker part can come off, I think. There we go. Nice. Got a couple more screws down here. Oh, yeah, please, sir, please, please cooperate. Now, somehow, we've got to get this area here detached from the, uh, from the frame, from the wooden frame. There are some screws right here which we can take out. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Oh, Hold on, let me work on this tiny bit here. Okay, so now the frame might be able to, yeah, just slide off just like that. That's awesome. Now, what about these little wooden bits? Do I have to get rid of these blocks, maybe? Or will that just, like, pull apart or something? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we got rid of one of them there. Do the others just slide off? Oh, they do. They just pull apart just like that. Awesome, awesome. And, of course, we have this chipboard here. I have no idea where the rest of the parts are going to be. I do wonder if these will come off here. No, it doesn't look like it. That looks like one part to me. Okay, I've pulled out the part finder here to see if we can look at the final part. Is it on here? Uh, maybe this interior part can come apart. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks like there's parts within there. Okay, let's see if we can somehow get rid of them. Can I just stick stuff in there? Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. We could just use the screwdriver to kind of slide it out. And we should have some more parts right here. Yep, just like that. There's like a marshmallow or something in there. That's fine. We can take that out. So this must be a similar design to the rest of the speakers, right? Oh, there's another part. Oh, wait, no, we did it. That's zero parts left. So that should be yes. So I think now, Guido, we should have unlocked the bomb. Okay, so that is item pack one complete. So let's go ahead and check if we have got the bomb. Here we go. We should... Uh, we, um... We don't have it? But I've literally completed item pack one. Uh, oh, no, I haven't. Oh, there's more to it. Okay, well, that's embarrassing. I didn't see that, Guido, but I'm determined to get that bomb whichever way I can. So let's go ahead and start taking this pocket knife apart. Now, as soon as I break apart these two hinges, it should start to kind of fall apart on its own accord, I reckon. Now, it does very much seem to be all together still. That is very odd. Maybe I can take off this screw right here. Does this part? Yeah, that comes undone. So we've got a rid... Got rid of a couple of them at least, but these components are still on there. Oh, I can pull apart the frame here, and that gets us access to this, like, butter knife. There should also be another part of the frame just here, which just slid off like that. Okay, good, good. Can I take off this? 
What is this attached by? What? Surely this red bit can come sliding off, right? Or one of these parts at least. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, more hidden components. Nice, nice. And that should be pretty much... Oh, no, we're getting close. Uh, are we sure there's not two... Yeah, there's two separate parts here, just like that. Now, we've got four more parts left, so I presume this little ring thing can come off just like that. Now, can these two come apart, or is that attached as one? I think it might be attached as one here. Guido, we are getting a lot faster at this, though. I am not gonna lie. Um, maybe around here somewhere. Oh, can I take around, take out the scissors here? Where'd I put my screwdriver? Yeah, these scissors should just come undone just like this, I herp. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, no. Uh, maybe I've got to pull it apart with my bare hands. Just like, no? Interesting. That's like the tiniest screw in the world. How on earth am I supposed to unscrew that? Uh, there we go. We finally got it. So this part should just come apart and that is it. Boom! Guido, I'm not gonna lie, we're actually doing pretty fine today. We're getting uh, a lot faster with this. Surely these two are two separate parts? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, so we are actually zooming through this. Why is it shaking? Things are going well. Things are progressing, so this is good. I bet each one of these little uh, metal bits can come out here. Just like this, maybe? Yeah, it could just pull apart just like that. Awesome, awesome. It all seems to be relatively straightforward and pulling apart. Um, now, what's this mechanism here? Oh, that can come straight off. And uh, this one should as well, right? If I can figure out how to get unbolted. How do I get the other one unbolted? Um, weird. Oh, this just pulls straight off. This isn't a very well made, um, microscope at all, is it? You can literally just start pulling away at it and it's all coming apart like this. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh, it's so poorly made. Guido, did you make this? Oh, we've got these little, uh, legs on the bottom here to keep it slightly elevated off the ground. That's a good idea. Oh! That, on the other hand, is probably not. And of course, it could just break apart in half, just like that. Is there a... No, that's just one big part. This can just come off. That's fine. Yeah, totally fine. What about you? Can you just kind of slide off here? I feel like this part here is probably supposed to come off, but let's see if we can actually figure out how to take it off. Maybe we use the pliers, or maybe, like, the wrench or something. Let's try the crowbar. Not the crowbar. It won't be the hex wrench. It's too big. There we go. This just kind of slides off just like that. Where am I looking? Right here? Um, is there something on here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, apparently there's something more on here. Ah, there are little screws right there. You see them just here on the side. Ah, oh, oh, they don't come undone either. Strange. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Wait, what was that? Oh, this slidey bit. This can come straight off. There we go. Perfect. Um, can any of this? No, nope, that can't come off. Okay, back to the part finder. Um, where am I looking? Um, maybe some more on here? Uh, or maybe right here. Maybe this top part can come off. This little area right there. Hold on, let me grab my screwdriver again. Can this not really not come off? Oh, there it goes. Interesting. It's just a matter of scanning everything until something pops up here, Guida. Um, okay, somewhere around here there's something. Maybe this black part can come off? Um, or something within? Doesn't look like it. This thing definitely doesn't come apart, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there was like a smaller ring inside that other ring. Nice. It's got to be something in this general vicinity. Maybe it's the, the lens here. Um, let's see. If I put that over there, it's still beeping. Let's just move everything to the side until it stops beeping. And then we'll know which was the, the last item we picked up. And that will be the part we need. Oh, I think it was one of those. Yeah, it was something here. Aha. Okay. Um, can this just... There we go. Ah, we're done. And last but certainly not least, we have this car. Oh my gosh, it's Hank's car. Hank, how you doing, man? Hey, dude, long time no see. Um, I'll take this, thank you. So how you been? How are the kids? How's the, uh, how's life going? Can I open this door? I can't, oh, jeez, I don't know my own strength. <laughs> but yeah, I hope life is treating you well. Oh, he's, he started the car. Probably not a good idea while I'm taking it apart. I hope life's treating you well. I hope everything is good in Hank's world. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, slowly start to take apart this, oh my gosh, take apart this car while I while I can here. Um, these bits just kind of seem to kind of like slide off, so that's good. Uh, get rid of that, you don't need that. Uh, get rid of this if we can. Oh, it's stuck on something. I think it's just this central area here. Can I take the seat? Not quite yet. Oh, I can take this seat. <laughs> okay. That is hilarious. You can literally just haul off giant parts of the car like, oh, I can lift the entire car. There you go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Are you okay in there, man? Yeah, sorry, dude. As I said, I don't know my own strength. Okay, I'm gonna start taking parts of this off here. Can this wheel just... That can just slide off just like that. Excellent. There's probably more than one part to that one. Uh, let's put the wheels all the way over there. Um, hmm. Nothing more seems to be coming undone. But look at this. This is a blessing in disguise. I can get to the underside of your car. 
dude, what the heck? This is actually very useful. I can get to this underside of your car. I can start accessing these more delicate areas here, like the axles and the wheels and stuff. I'll get rid of that for you. There you go. Oh, what does this thing do? Look at that. Oh, it snapped off whatever it does. Um, we could probably start to take apart. Yep, the engine. We've got the engine. Excellent. Take off the fan. You won't be needing this anymore. Just like that. Any other parts right here? Doesn't look like it. I don't know where you shop for your engines, uh, Hank, but uh, that is a very disgusting looking engine. Let me get that door for you. There you go. Um, I kind of want you back over there, Hank. So let's just... Oh my gosh. The entire underside of the car just blew up. Holy moly. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Um, I wanted to say, Hank, I kind of want you over there. Um, if you'll just kindly follow me, just let me pick you up, and, uh, oh my gosh, it's all falling apart, man. You still in there? Oh, he's out. Okay. Back to the crowbar, I think. So the crowbar is actually quite useful. It can just pull stuff apart, especially the side paneling. So I do wonder if there's anything else we can just take apart here. Maybe if I grab this side and then pull off this... No, I can't pull off the bottom part there. Interesting. Can I smash the window? Doesn't look like it. Let's get rid of the wheel if we can. Come on, wheel. Come off there. Come on. I think it's because it's still attached to this bumper, I guess. Now, if there's somewhere to take this bumper off, that'd be fantastic here. How is it connected? Maybe with, like, a, uh, a, a, a big, like, bolt or something? Oh, yep. There we go. That can just slide off. Are these both separate? Yeah, they're both separate uh, items there. So let's get the crowbar. Hopefully, we can, like, pull apart this. Yep, we can pull apart the wheels just like we did with the bike in a previous event. This wheel must be able to come off somehow. I'm just not sure how yet. We've also got this, uh, hold on. If I turn the thing over, just like, yep, just like that, that works. Oh, this part just like slides off. <laughs> that is amazing. Now, can this part just, yep, I could just pull it apart with my bare strength. Everything just kind of just pulls off, apart from this thing, apparently, which we can't take off. Uh, maybe a wrench. Yep, apparently this tiny spanner can do what I could not with my bare hands, which makes sense. We got the front bumper detached somehow, so maybe we can just... Oh, yep, this just slides straight out there, just like this. Oh, jeez, calm down. So this bumper just came undone from the other part of the bumper. There must be more stuff here. What is this thing? Can this thing not come off here? Yep, yeah, it can. Two more parts. Time to break out the part finder and see what we can see. Okay, so there's more stuff over here somewhere. Um, something around here can come off. Oh, I think this part can. Um, can this just... Oh, it was the door. And that's zero parts and we are done. Thanks for letting me work with your car, Hank. I think, um, I think I fixed it. So now, Guida, if we cross our fingers, we should have... If we go all the way to the right here, we should have... Come on. Yes, the classic bomb. Look at this thing. This is awesome. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this installment of the Disassembly. What? Oh my goodness, I'm like a movie star now.